Thank you for hearing my story, or well, part of it. It's more like the events that happened, but the larger story is a lot more extensive than that. But I'm not the only one with a story to tell. I'm not the only one with a story that needs to be heard, and I'm not the only one with a voice that can regain its strength, that can't be silenced, that's going to continue on, and that's going to change lives. You have one, too. I have been overwhelmed in the last week with the amount of responses I've received. I had no idea the power that that small video that was impromptu and um, not well planned out could make on other people. I'm astonished and honored and really more than anything inspired. Inspired by all of you, what you've gone through and how you've carried on. And there are people who I've known since high school, since elementary school, who have gone through innumerable obstacles and are still living and I would have never known. And that's not necessarily a good thing, but it's an incredible thing. And it made me realize that this isn't just about me fighting for myself. This isn't justice for me. It's not just for that group of people who I was going to fight for originally. But it's so much larger than that. And the scheme and the scope of it is terrifying. Um, but I thank you, really, for the responses you've given me. And I feel compelled and inspired to keep doing my part to try and make this better. Because as I'm sitting there and looking at a row of three women, I don't want to know that one of those three women have gone through the same pain. I don't want to know that one of those three women lies in bed at night wondering if that will ever happen to her again. I don't want to live in a world where I look at the five-year-olds I teach swimming lessons to and know that it's inevitable that at least one of them is going to be raped. I don't want that anymore and I would hope that you don't either because it's not just about you, it's about your daughters. It's about your sisters, your co-workers, your best friend. It's not about women's rights anymore. It's about people. It's about humans and keeping them safe. And there's one way to do that. I mean, there's a lot of ways to do that. But one way that I've come up with in response to everything that I've received, um, I would like to send anyone who sends me a story and reports to the police one of these rings. It's a Granada. Well, it's a pomegranate. Um, it's where I healed, was in Granada. And I got this ring because the story of the pomegranate is that she gets taken by Hades and she's in the underworld and then all of a sudden she finds a way to come back to Earth and it kind of signifies with the seeds of rebirth that you have countless opportunities to restart in your life that just because one thing has stunted your growth you're not barren it symbolizes fertility and the fruitfulness of life and it also symbolizes health and so for me every time I look down at it I just think to myself I've gotten through this 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 is the hurt that was inside can diminish, that I'm no longer a victim, I'm a survivor. So to all my survivors out there who have taken a stand to accept what's happened and written down their story and shared it with me, I want to do something back to you. And um, if you'd like to buy one, they're coming from Spain, so just send me a message. Um, he's bringing them in November from Granada. Uh, and I don't know how I'm going to pay for them. It's probably going to be my first paycheck or something, but... You all are really worth it, and I really appreciate everything that I've gotten back and just the response. Everyone's been so supportive and amazing, so really thank you. Um, and the second thing I'm thinking of doing is um, starting this group. I hope this isn't backwards, but um, called Women's Rights, like women's rights, but writing. Writing down my story was something my counselor told me to do, and I would suggest it to anyone else. And then if you share them with me, maybe we can get them published anonymously. That's the goal. 
that I and about seven other women have come up with. Um, but just keep sharing your story. Giving it a face is the most important thing so that you're no longer just a statistic, but you're a human being with feelings and there's an aftermath to this and people who do these things don't just say, oh, that was one drunken night, it's whatever. They can really change someone's life. So um, if you would like to be part of this, I'm going to put an email at the bottom of this or send me a message on Facebook. And if you'd like to get a ring, report to the police what's happened to you, tell me about it, and I, I would really love for you to be a part of this. And so thank you, everyone, for everything you've done already. And hopefully this doesn't stop. Keep sharing, keep liking, keep watching, who knows what we can do.